Bonjour, let's conjugate the verb donner, which means to give, in the present, in the past, and in the future tense. Okay, guys, we know the verb donner because it's one of the top 20 French verbs used in French, France. Okay? Now, donner means to give. You have a look at donner, you think of donation, okay? To give something, okay? Now, I'm going to conjugate it in the present tense, which is dead easy if you know how to conjugate a verb from the first group, which means a regular verb, in the present tense. And if you know the endings of that group. When you conjugate a verb belonging to the first group of verbs, you do it this way. For je, it has a ni. For tu, it's es. For il, elle, on, it's i. For nous, it's o, n, s. For vous, it's iz. And for il and elle, it's e, n, t. So these endings are going to be stuck to the stem of the verb. Donner being the infinitive, because it has er, we're going to drop the er, and then we add these endings. So, je donne means I give or I am giving. Tu donnes, you give or you are giving. Il donne, he gives or he is giving. Elle donne, she gives or she is giving. On donne, one gives or one is giving. Nous donnons, we are giving or we give. Vous donnez, you give or you are giving. Il or elle donne. They give what they are giving, okay? So we've applied the rules of the present tense, okay? For a regular verb, okay, this is exactly it. It's quite easy to do, actually, when it's a regular verb. Je donne, tu donnes, il donne, elle donne, on donne, nous donnons, vous donnez, il donne. Now, uh, what I would like to do now is give you um, an example or two, okay, uh, using the verb donner in the present tense. So we could say... Tom donne un cadeau à Alice pour son anniversaire. Tom donne un cadeau à Alice pour son anniversaire. So Tom gives Alice a present. So gives a present to Alice for her birthday. Okay. Tom donne un cadeau à Alice pour son anniversaire. Okay. We're using son, uh, which is known as a possessive adjective and if you're not aware of possessive adjective please refer back to my lesson on possessive adjective okay now tom gives a present to alice now to is a here can you say that can you see yeah well done now tom donne un cadeau à alice pour son anniversaire okay another example nous donnons aux enfants la permission de sortir nous donnons aux enfants so we're giving to children to someone so it could be nous donnons à nous donnons au nous donnons au okay a u or a u x in that case it's to the children because it's plural okay a u x so we give the children permission to go out sortir go out okay nous donnons aux enfants la permission de sortir Now, if you're not confident, have a look at the support guide that comes with this lesson, by the way, on learnfrenchwithalexa.com. Now, passé composé of donné. Basically, we are going to say, I gave or I have given. It's the same in French, okay? Use the auxiliary verb to have in order to do that. Now, the auxiliary verb to have in the present tense must be learned by heart. There is no secret about that. If you do not know that, have a look at my videos on auxiliary verbs, okay? And you will understand why they are so important. Now, once you know how to conjugate to have in the present tense, j'ai, tu as, il a, all you have to do is add the past participle of the verb donner. Donner here, because it's a regular verb, you drop the r and you add an accent. And there you have, I have given, okay? So, j'ai donné, I gave or I have given. Tu as donné, you gave or you have given. Il a donné, elle a donné, on a donné. He has given, she has given, one has given. Nous avons donné, we have given. Vous avez donné, you have given. Ils ont donné. 
Elles ont donné. So they have given. Okay. Now, uh, remember to know the verb to have in the present tense in order, if, in order for you to be able to conjugate a verb in a passé composé. Now, it's an action that took place in the past and it's gone done over with. Okay. So it happened and it did not carry on. So we gave something and that was it. Okay. Now, if I were to use a couple of examples, we'd say, Elle a déjà donné à manger aux enfants. So what do you understand here? Elle a déjà, now déjà, like déjà vu, means already, already. She has already given, okay, what has she already given? Food, à manger to the children. So she has already given the children some food. She has already given food to the children. Now again, aux enfants, A-U-X, to the, O because it's plural masculine. Okay, now, Another example, il nous a donné rendez-vous près du théâtre. Il a donné, but here we say il nous a donné rendez-vous près du théâtre. Now when you give a rendez-vous, you arrange to meet somewhere. That's what it means, un rendez-vous, okay? So, he arranged or he gave us a meeting point, okay? He arranged to meet us. Now us here, can you see where it is? It's after il, the second word on this sentence is us. He gave us a rendez-vous près du théâtre, near the theater. Il nous a donné rendez-vous près du théâtre. So you're going to say, well, what, what if I didn't want to put nous? You could say, il a donné rendez-vous. He, he arranged the meeting, not us, without us, yeah? Il a donné rendez-vous près du théâtre. He arranged to have a meeting near the theater. Equally, you can say that, okay? Or, il m'a donné rendez-vous. He arranged to meet me. Il m'a donné rendez-vous. Okay? Now, let's have a look at the future tense of donner. Again, if you are very familiar with the ending of the future tense, then there is no secret. Donner is here, a regular verb, so it's dead easy to conjugate in the future tense. The endings go like this. Ré, ra, ra. Ron, ré, ron. Okay? So if you know that, you will know how to conjugate in the future tense. Je donnerai. I will give. Now, this is what we are trying to say. Yeah, I will give when I'm in future. Remember that we don't have a way of saying will in French, so we have special endings instead. Je donnerai. I will give. Tu donneras. You will give. Il donnera. He will give. Elle donnera, she will give. On donnera, one will give. Nous donnerons, we will give. Vous donnerez, you will give. Ils donneront, elles donneront. They will give. Okay? So you need to know that by heart. And knowing a verb such as simple as, um, as simple as, uh, donner will help you to conjugate other verbs, okay? So, je donnerai, tu donneras, il donnera, on donnera, nous donnerons, vous donnerez, ils donneront, elles donneront, okay? Now, if I were to use uh, examples based on this, we could say, nous lui donnerons, nous lui donnerons ta lettre lorsque nous le verrons. Now, here we've got two verbs and two verbs conjugated in the future tense. So, nous lui donnerons, we will give, him, lui donnerons, or her, it means both, ta lettre, your letter, quand, when, lorsque, when, nous le verrons, when we see him. You can, instead of lorsque, you can say quand, when, okay, it's the same. So, we will give him your letter when we see him. Nous lui donnerons ta lettre lorsque nous le verrons. Très bien. Now, another example Elles donnent le, ben, elles donnent le rond. <laughs> That's not French. Elles donneront leur soutien à notre association. So they will give. Elles donneront. They here being the uh, feminine version, plural of they. So they will give their support, leur soutien à notre association, to our 
association. Now remember here we've got a lot of possessive adjectives. If you're not familiar with possessive adjectives, please have a look at my lessons on possessive adjectives. They are pretty good, she says confidently. Not because I'm cocky. But anyway, remember you have the support guide available for this lesson on learnfrenchwithalexa.com. This is my website where I take you French to the next level. And why don't you subscribe to Learn French with Alexa? Uh, no, Learn French with Alexa on my channel. Uh, so you want to be kept updated by what I post and I post every, not day, but nearly. That's it for me. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Bye. <laughs>